So there's actually a few ways that we can install Packer on Linux. As you can see here on the screen, I've got the Packer 1.5.6 Linux 64-bit installation option here, which is a zip file. And inside that zip file is going to be the binary. So if we actually go ahead and just unzip that, we'll see that what we actually just end up with is a binary. So if I actually just run that binary directly, we can see that it's just ready to go. It just works, right? Now, on Linux, there are several ways in which we can we can install this binary. We can install it, install it as our... We can either just leave it there and just come into this directory and run it from there, but that would be pretty painful. We can install it somewhere in our local home directory, and then we can up to update our path variable so that when we type in Packer, the operating system can find this Packer binary. What that doesn't do is make, make it available to other users of the system. Now, if this is just your personal laptop, that's not such a big deal. If it's a server environment, however, you're probably going to want to put it in the user local bin directory. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in user local bin because the process of putting it in user local bin and then making it available on my path is identical to me just putting it in my home directory, but it kind of knocks two bottles down with one stone, okay, because we're going to make it available for everyone on the server and also manipulate the path variable, which is what you'd have to do anyway if you just installed it in your own home directory. It just wouldn't be available to other users. So I'm going to do sudo, and I'm going to copy the packer binary to user local bin, like that. Okay, I'm just going to type in password here. Hopefully I got that right. Probably got it wrong. Yep. Okay, excellent. So now if I type in packer, you actually see it's already working. That's probably because I've got user local bin in my environment already. So let's check that out and see if that is the case. Okay, so path here has got user local s bin, user local bin, user s bin, user bin on all the normal defaults here. But here, user local bin is already in place. If you don't have that, you need to set up your path to include that. So one way of doing that is to look at your, probably your bash RC file is, is one place you can do it. And if we go to the bottom, we can see here that I've already gone export path at the very bottom. Actually, it's a little bit, let's see if we can get that into the, uh, get that to the middle of the screen. Now, there we go. So we've got export path equals and then we're referencing the path variable itself and then we're adding on user local go bin go bin user local goland bin so that was when i was installing the goland ide into this virtual machine as well as go itself and that made go the go binary available to me on my global path and so provided you do that on linux you'll have packer installed and ready to go it's really quite simple. You're just putting a binary into a specific location, and then you're making that location available via the path environment variable so the operating system can find it.